So what happened with the death of God and country, in particular the the death of God, at least the God of the Bible, we got Nazism, fascism, and communism. There is nobody, I don't care if you're an atheist, you cannot deny, you can deny that those are the inevitable results of the collapse of the Judeo-Christian value system, but you cannot deny that it happened. I'm not saying it's inevitable, it's the, but something has to replace something. And something did. The, those somethings in Europe were communism, fascism, and Nazism. In the United States, that did not happen. It did not happen in any of the English-speaking countries. And to jump ahead for a moment, those are the countries with the most radical left transformation of the society. England, Canada, United States, Australia. It's not a co- New Zealand. It's not a coincidence. Those countries were spared Bolshevism, communism, Nazism, fascism. But there's a reason, except for England, but in the United States, which is the, the, the most important country in this regard, or in any regard, in terms of the world, in the United States, the Judeo-Christian tradition and country remained values through the end of World War II. Unlike European countries, Americans did not suffer a loss of belief after World War I. If anything, they were even more committed to America and to religion. There was a religious revival, if you will. The words under God it, were inserted into the Pledge of Allegiance in the 1950s. One nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It was until then one nation with liberty and justice for all. I wonder how many schools say the Pledge of Allegiance today. Just as a side side matter here. And there was tremendous belief uh, in the nation. The, you know, God Bless America was written. Well, when was God Bless America written? In the 1940s? When did, uh, when did that get written? Take a look, would you? God Bless America. There was a tremendous, if you look at the, the movies from the 30s and 40s, it was such a patriotism. It's a massive love of this country. Oh, that early? 1918. Revised later in 1938. Wow. Did you know it was written that early? I'm shocked. It was written for World War I? Okay. Anyway, that's uh, people saying it. I mean, saying it till recently. God bless America. It was a very moving, powerful melody and, and words. So America was spared its end of faith in country and God until the end of World War II. Not because of World War II, but because of the radicalization of our universities, where the secular was assumed to be the true, and where uh, leftism, which rejects nationalism, as well as religion, well, especially Christianity, reigned supreme. 